my name is Chi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. You're watching Petite Dressing. Today's video is about best wedding dresses for petite brides. If you are petite, you don't need me to tell you how hard it is to find the right clothing to fit you. When it comes to your wedding day, this is one of the most important occasions in your life. So you want to make sure you look absolutely stunning and as perfect as it can be on your special day. That is why I want to share with you in this video the best tips for you to find the best wedding dresses as a short bride. To what you should be looking for, I want to first tell you what does not work. And how do you know? This is from my own experience. When I was looking for my wedding dress, I had my mind set on one particular style. And guess what it is? It is the princess style. I have been looking for that one wedding dress that looks at a princess. I've been dreaming about looking at a princess when I was probably 10 years old. So of course, the first style I will be trying on for my wedding dress are fancy, long, bogong kind of dresses. I went through a ton of the dresses. But the more I tried, the more I realized, no, it doesn't work. It just doesn't look right on me. And sure enough, they look perfect and look just like, you know, princess on the models or on the mannequins. But once I put them on and I tried so many of them, none of them worked out. And now that I know what I know today, I will tell you the princess style probably does not work for most petite women. I cannot speak for every petite girl out there because everybody has a different proportion and different traits of our body. But for the majority of us, if you're short, the princess style, the big puffy boga will not look the most flattering on you because there's just too much going on. The wedding dress has a very puffy gown. It adds so much volume to your bottom, make you look bottom heavy. Because we're petite, our goal is to make our figure look longer and leaner and not bigger and puffier. So that's why I want to tell you what are the best styles that will work on a short woman. Of course, you can still try the ball gown just for the fun of it. If you are petite, the most important thing is to make sure the wedding dress is not overly complicated. Of course, you want to have the embellishments and you want to have the laces. In my case, my wedding dresses they have seven layers of laces. So you want to make sure the silhouette itself is clean cut. So the top five wedding dress styles for petite women. Number one is the mermaid shape. If you have curves, for instance, if you are an hourglass shape, if you or if you are an apple body shape, or if you have you are any other body shape, if you do have full chest and round hips, then the mermaid shape is perfect for you. Even if you don't naturally have curves, for instance, if you tend if you are you have a very athletic body type, if you are the rectangle shape or the inverted triangle shape, and if you're on the skinny side, a mermaid shape will add the curves to your body and make you look very feminine on this special day of your wedding. When Kim Kardashian got married to Chris Humphries in 2011, Kim had three wedding dresses at this lavish wedding. Two of them were mermaid and one was ball gown. My personal favorite of the three is the mermaid with modest tail. It highlights all her assets without overwhelming her petite figure. The other mermaid dress also highlighted her curves, but it got a puffier tail. In my view, less is more. In 2014, Kim got married to Kanye, and this time, once again, she chose a mermaid dress. Classy, elegant, and sexy. And number two is the sheath style or the column style. This is a very flattering shape for petite women 
because it adds all the lengths we need. Most of the wedding gowns are floor lengths or at least ankle lengths. And if especially if you are wearing a lens with a with a train dragging on the floor, this is a very flattering style because it makes your body look longer and leaner. When Eva Longoria got married to Jose Baston in 2016, she chose a simple sheath dress with a sweetheart neckline. It was made with love by her close friend, Victoria Beckham, who was also petite. Number three is the modest a-line shape. See, I have told you how the ball gown looks just doesn't look right on the petite woman, at least in my case. But when I was trying on the modest A-line, which is like the less dramatic version of the ball gown, it still has a flare skirt which looks feminine and it still has a princess kind of look. But because it doesn't have that puffy gown, it looks much better on the petite woman. And number four is the short wedding dresses. Yes, even though most of the wedding, most of us are looking for a long, floor length wedding dress, you might also consider a short wedding dress if you are going to a city hall that you can wear to the reception. In my case, I had a long wedding dress and a short wedding dress on my wedding day. The short wedding dress, I was wearing it for the photography session as well as the wedding reception. A short dress never fails a petite girl because when you're wearing a short dress, it shows off your legs. And the ideal length I would suggest is at the knee or a little bit above your knee. Of course, you don't want it to be too short. You don't want, you don't want a look of a clubbing dress. You do want to look elegant and appropriate for your wedding day, but you want to make sure it's short will make your body proportion look better. And last but not the least, the empire waist style. So you can call this a style or you can call this a design because some of the styles I mentioned earlier, they could also have an empire waist design. And why is empire waist so important for petite women? Because as a petite woman, proportion is the number one thing in choosing the wedding dress. I want to say that's pretty much the most important thing when you're choosing anything you wear as a short woman. The one pair waist has a very much elevated waistline, which is much higher than our natural waistline. And that will make your legs look at least two thirds of your body. And that is extremely flattering if you are petite. Empire with dress can also hide your tummy, which makes it a wonderful choice if you are looking for a dress to hide your midsection or a maternity dress. Here's more videos that you will find helpful in your styling. Watch this video and let me know if you have more questions.